My name is Hmong, call me freedom. My name is not exotic. My name is freedom. My people are worth more than eye candy and shell of praise. We are from stolen territory. We are now sojourners in foreign lands. But we would not fit in the palm of your hand to be controlled. We live in resistance and die in resistance. We are offsprings of genocide, survivors of imposed assimilations. Our legacy is a blood that streams through my veins, through large arteries, pumping stories of forgotten people. Gulumbe yo ani ya, kupahuku ani vihatia, kuyo vachi tu kumpli, kuyo shia vihatia kulushia shacha, le haitia kupolu. Gulumbe yo shia, gulumbe yo kuchening, gulumbe yo mong. So the poem, um, it was inspired um, one day couple years ago when I was a junior in high school and um, I was on a trip, on a mission trip uh, for leadership uh, through my youth group. Um, I was down in New Orleans and we were kind of running through uh, the hotel and um, and this lady came up to me because I was, you know, when, during the summer I'm, I could get really dark and this lady came up to me and was like, Aloha! And I was like really shocked. and. Um, and I didn't know what to say. I was surprised, and she just looked really happy to see me. I never, I've never seen this lady, and she said aloha, and then she just left. And before I could say anything, wherever I go, um, whether that's our state or where there's not a lot of Hmong people, or people don't know about the Hmong population. Then it's, you know, what is Hmong? You know, what's where are you from? And, you know, like um, different questions like that, and it's hard to explain for me. Growing up, there was I've been you know fighting through a lot of identity issues. Understanding I am I Hmong enough? Am I American enough? Am I who am I? You know, and so that really um, that moment really challenged me. And so out of that, a couple of years later, I start you know I thought of that moment and reflected on it, and I started writing about it. And this poem, um, my name is Hmong, call me Freedom, uh, really exemplify like my story of kind of coming to terms with being and being proud of being Hmong and, uh, and my culture and my tradi the traditions, the rich heritage, the story, the narrative, the, all of it, and, uh, and really reclaiming who I am. You know, it, Hmong is just one part, one piece, one part of my, my full identity. It's not all who I am, it is just a part of who I am. Reclaiming the language, reclaiming uh, the pride, you know, of, of being Hmong. And so that's why I had, you know, I had to go to my mom and and, um, and talk about how to translate it and how to um, enunciate my words. And um, and still, and, you know, it's still not perfect, of course, but uh, to me it's, it's, it's just showing, you know, uh, this connecting piece of, like, English and Hmong being Hmong American, being, you know, uh, having these identities, and so, yeah. This is kind of like my go-to piece. Uh, sure, it it's, uh, tells you a lot about me. Uh, I performed it at uh, local coffee shops, open mics, at um, college campuses, and, um, and I, this is actually my first piece that, that ever got published in the St. Paul Almanac and, uh, two years ago, and I'm very proud of it, and, and, and it's something that I, um, that just keeps inspiring me, like, that's the beginning, you know.